what happens. Dean's like nervous, right? I've never been on a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, you'll be totally good. Well, cheers. We'll start this off. It is Adele. I am solo. Jessica is on vacation, which I forgot to tell you guys that. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> like, why? Just you. <laughs> Jessica is on vacation. Um, well deserved. She will be back in two weeks, I believe. Um, but today I'm technically not actually alone. I have two special guests with us, Becca and Dee, both TMB brides, and we are here to chat about their love story their wedding planning chaos, and the fun collaboration that we have with the modern bride and them. Um, So to give you a little bit of a who's who, I made them write bios for me. Um, (laughs) So we have uh, Becca is a Canadian-based content creator, small business owner, and world champion cheerleader. Snaps for that. Um, (laughs) She originally grew her community through her success in her sport, but always knew she would use it as a platform to promote awareness and inclusivity for the LGBTQ plus community. Now she works as a digital marketing manager, owns a casual wear company called All Good, and is in the midst of planning her June 2024 wedding. Damn, it's a great bio. Can I, can I write it too long? Like, no, I love it. I love it. It's exceptional. Okay, and we have Dee here. Dee is a respected account executive at a research and advisory firm. She's also a seasoned cheerleading coach working with beginner to elite athletes. After confidently coming out to friends and family, she turned her social media platforms into a safe space for the LGBTQ plus community. Since then, she's shared major milestones with her followers from the beginning of her relationship to planning her wedding coming up in June 2024. Love it. You sound so much cooler than me. <laughs> Becca and Dee, are you guys ready to lift the veil? Yes. yes. I'm so excited because I've listened to every episode. I love it. Thank you. And I do have to say, Becca just started a podcast herself, and it's called All Good, and you definitely need to listen to it. It's hilarious. If you're new to the podcast, welcome people. Um, but my favorite way when we have guests is to play games because I'm a games person. Sorry. Yeah, okay. perfect. <laughs> I love it. Um, we're just gonna do some rapid fire questions, um, but we're gonna switch it up and play a take on like the newlyweds game, but it's gonna be like the soon to be wed game. Okay. Um, so it's gonna be a series of like, who's more likely to and Ooh, amazing okay yeah. i love this okay <laughs> so we'll start off nice and easy who takes the longest to get ready me yeah. becca yes <laughs> however i'll say i'm ready and then she'll be waiting at the door for like 15 minutes for me to grab last minute things that's why we were five so minutes late. <laughs> <laughs> that was me today but like overall that. in terms of like hair makeup getting dressed definitely becca okay cool that's fair who gets the last word in me. Becca. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Just like that was no, so easy. Yeah. Like, there's no I try, I can't. Yeah. <laughs> it's too good. That's so funny. What sign are you, Becca? I'm a Leo. A Leo. Okay, yeah. Like, that adds I'm, up. That's just like I, I'm like I love being a Leo, but when I get asked in public, I'm like embarrassed of it because <laughs> I know it's a little, it's a little dicey. It's controversial. It's okay. I'm married to a Leo, so I got you. I got it. That's so funny. What are you? I'm an Aries. An Aries. Okay, so you're the Aries. I don't sign. really follow any of this, so I just say, <laughs> oh, okay. somebody will be like, that's so Aries of you. I'm like, sure. Yeah. If you say so. <laughs> it is. It is. Thank you very much. Thanks. So I hope fun. that means good things. <laughs> okay, so D, if Becca could only have one drink for the rest of her life, what would it be? Are we talking like an alcoholic drink or non alcoholic drink? Or anything. I'll let you do alcoholic and non-alcoholic. Still tricky. I will. Okay, I'm battling between an espresso martini, okay, and prosecco. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Am I? Yeah. Yeah. The only other thing I love is a Melbourne. Melbourne. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See, I, I I took that one out because anytime we're like anywhere or even in Europe, yeah, we are prosecco. We are prosecco. We are prosecco. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we just love it. I so. love that for you. But anytime we're like going to go out. And like just have some drinks with some friends. She needs a little bit of coffee. So we get yeah. an espresso martini. I'm a very sleepy girl. Like yeah. if I have any alcohol, I like go to oh, bed. Oh, it just like hits you. Especially yeah. with like the Malbec. I'm surprised. Like I you know. must just pass out. I do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I 
love it. Okay, so Becca, if D could switch lives with any celebrity for a day, who would it be? Oh my gosh, tricky. So tricky. Okay, this is hard because I know who your favorite people are, but I'm not sure that you'd want to live their lives. We'll start there. Like, I know you love Ariana Grande, but I don't think you'd want to live her life. No, she's a little too famous. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, it's like, everyone everyone thinks being famous is, like, such a goal, but, like, being, like, an E-list celebrity is the goal. Yeah. You can still go out, you know? Oh, absolutely. You're looking at me like I should know. I don't know. I don't know either. I'm, like, trying to run names through my head. Do you know what Becca would want to be or who she would like to switch for, like, one day? Um, honestly, one of the Kardashians. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No, you know what? Here's really, what's really funny. So Beck's mom and her sister, they have a group chat. And in her phone, her sister is named Kendall. And her mom is Chris. Stop with it. With photos of the Kardashians. So like. <laughs> when they call me. It'll it be just like, says Kendall. And Kendall, Chris. yeah. Or no. Chris. That's So for me, that was easy. But I don't know. I, I would love like to that. add that the group chat is called the Pordashians. I don't know if you wanted to say that. But yes, it is called the Pordashians. <laughs> that is absolutely unhinged. I love everything about that. Um, yeah, I would love I feel that. I mean, who wouldn't, who wouldn't? at this point, yeah. right? Like, just to experience one day of life like that. Like, Sorry, I didn't answer the question. Clearly. I feel like I'd be like Scott from the Kardashians. You are yes. Scott. There you go. You there are there Scott. You go. <laughs> He's kind of famous, but like by association and like, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> and he just Subtle. like has such good one-liners. I feel yeah, like you have that, that in you. Like yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. So funny. <laughs> okay, and then this one's for both of you. So you both love to travel, obviously. We see it all over your Instagram and live vicariously through both of you. So if you could travel anywhere in the world tomorrow, where are you going? If it's somewhere I've been, it would be a toss up between Australia and Spain. But if it's somewhere I haven't been, I really want to go to Switzerland. Oh, yeah. I was going to say Switzerland as well. Yeah. And the reason the reason I feel Switzerland right now is my TikTok for you page is all (laughs) Switzerland Christmas. And I love the holidays. So like I'm super hooked on like I want to go somewhere cold ironically yeah. for the holidays to enjoy that um but since I was really little I've always wanted to do a safari oh, in South Africa yeah. and yeah, yeah. yeah so that's like, like one of the like ones where you go like glamping like yeah the, like, yes. really epic yeah, yeah, yeah. Ones. yeah yeah very very yeah oh that would be amazing. so extreme differences but yeah both of those do you guys have the honeymoon planned yet um we don't have it planned but we plan to be in Europe for a month we like love Europe we want to move to Europe so right after um no because we have another wedding after oh okay Mm -hmm. we're getting married in June um we plan to go away for the month of August we're either going to just stay in Italy for a whole month or we're going to do half Greece half Italy amazing because we haven't been to either of those places yet we need to know I feel like we have to start we have to give the people what they want what is the (laughs) origin story of you guys how did this love story happen you, you go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she wants me to tell the story because she knows that if she tells it wrong, I'll be like, uh, you, you missed it. You'd be like, uh, <laughs> try again. Back, check, back. So we both were in the sport of cheerleading, um, but we weren't at the same gym location. She was in school in Ottawa. Um, I was living in Burlington, and she was from Burlington, but obviously was living in Ottawa for school. So I guess after she was done school, she had moved home and I had just so happened to move to Burlington. So we were both in town at the same time, but we didn't know each other yet. She knew of me because of the team I was on and because my team had a show. I did not know of her, (laughs) (laughs) but I got a serving job at a restaurant like behind her neighborhood home. Yeah. Her childhood, not neighborhood. Childhood. Yeah. I was like, that sounded I mean, a little bit odd. <laughs> and so one day she walked into the restaurant with her friends. She was celebrating one of their birthdays. And I kind of recognized her because the community and cheerleading is so small. Okay. Um, so like you get to know faces, but you might not necessarily know every person. Yeah. Um, so like I kind of looked at her and I could tell she recognized me, but in my head, I was like, I don't know this person. So I just, like, turned around and walked away. <laughs> in my head, I was like, I know her. And she just walked away. Why? Didn't she? We've never met, mind you. And I'm like, why didn't she say hi? But I added you but on like, Facebook. Also, oh, yes. That's, that's what we missed. Yeah. You had me on Facebook a week prior because I had relocated from the Ottawa location of that gym to the Ancaster. Oh, okay. And so I was starting to get, like, several Facebook uh, like invites or friend what is it friend requests sorry yeah, yeah, yeah. friend requests from like several different coaches so I thought this was just kind of normal this was just another coach but I was like oh I kind of recognize her okay wait She's so you show. added her on yes. Facebook yeah. but then you didn't say <laughs> yes. anything to her that's why at first I was like 
Why did you like oh what? Oh my god, I love I that. Thrown off. I have two. First of all, I added her on Facebook because there was someone in my life that had a crush on me and I wasn't into her and I heard about D and I wanted to I was like, okay, I'll set this girl up with D. Oh so I was gonna set passing it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I was gonna set <laughs> I was gonna set D the stranger up with my friend who I felt bad that I did not have feelings for. And so I added her on Facebook. However, you looked very different in real life than you did in your Facebook photos at the time. But I actually thought she looked prettier in person. Oh, that's good news. That's great. <laughs> yeah, I thought I thought you were gonna say if you had said the opposite, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd be like, I would never. Are you kidding me? You. Um, your photos are now very accurate to how you look in real life. I just like don't. I'm not at the time. Yeah, it was a long time ago. iPhone quality was not good. Yeah, we were all into the really Valencia care. filter. Yeah, it gosh, was like yeah. not a good time. Yeah, I'm so pretty sure I wasn't even filling in my eyebrows at that time. Like, <laughs> oh, I, I remember those days. Yeah, so. <laughs> Tragic time in life. Yeah. So I just didn't recognize her. She didn't look like the photo I saw one moment on Facebook when I added you. But then she ended up getting like a little tipsy at the restaurant. One of my coworkers was like, some girl at my table is requesting you by name. And I was like, I don't know anyone in here. <laughs> Stop. And oh, so, I love this. So I went over to preface. I was on the best team in the gym. Yeah, you were. And Dee was on another very good team in the gym, but not my team. So I come over and she's like, <laughs> What? You're on X team, so you're too good to talk to me? And I was like, Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> so a little, literally, I was so savage for saying cocky. that. I know I was. I will say from like my side, so the show had just come out. So a lot of the times you saw their team kind of like rush through crowds because kids would just swarm them. Yeah. Right. But for me, I was like, these people don't want to talk to anyone. Like, are you kidding me? And then she wanted to speak to me. And I know she knows me. She added me on she Facebook. Added- <laughs> yeah, I like, was like, it these bad. people it are bad. ridiculous. So I was a little bit snappy. And then I actually got to know these girls and like Becca and, and the team. I was like, I was definitely wrong <laughs> to assume this. Like I see it now and I saw yeah. it multiple times. So that's like, just so everyone knows I'm not that evil. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but it's one of the, that's why I was like, oh, you tell the story. You'll make me, me sound better. It didn't bother me. I liked it. I thought it was funny. And you did laugh. Like, I like banter. So yeah. I, was, I was down to give it back. So she was like, if you want, after your shift, you can sit with me and my friends. And, like, we can get to know each other. And I was like, yeah, okay. If, if I'm cut early, sure. And then... She waited. And I turned to my friends. I was like, we do not leave. Do we all understand the plan? <laughs> I know it's your birthday, but guess what? Yeah. Quick change. Birthday's over. Yeah. <laughs> You're done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So then I did end up sitting down and getting to know all of them. And and then we like basically have hung out every day since. Oh, yeah. Like I literally. That. <laughs> That's so cute. That's a great story. It's a great origin story, guys. So. Obviously, you're saying you guys hung out forever. And so how many years ago was that that you met? Almost seven. Almost seven. Yeah, this was like... That's crazy. And then you've been engaged for like over a year now. Yeah. Yeah. A year and a half, I think. Yeah. And it was like two of the most cutest romantic possible (laughs) engagements ever. Like the photos are amazing. Can you let us know how that all came together? Like were the two proposals always part of the plan um and for anybody that doesn't know becca and d's story um i believe it was becca got proposed to first and then becca proposed to d um a few weeks or months later yeah about two months later so how did that all happen and was it part of the plan all along okay um yes so it was part of the plan all along um we had actually gone to see rings in June of 20, 2022. Um, what was really funny was right before our trip to Europe. So Beck thought the whole time that I was going to propose in Europe. As you would think. I right? Was like, we were at the Eiffel Tower and I was like, okay, where is it? <laughs> Yeah, she kept like bothering me about it. But this whole time I had a plan and I was like, oh my God, what if this is the wrong plan? What if this is what she actually wants? Is this not going to be good? I start panicking, right? But I'm like, either way, I don't have the ring with me anyways. Yeah. Um, Smart. We should not travel with the ring box. Oh God, no. No, I lose things all the time. Yeah. Yeah. So like, that would be terrible. Um, but yeah, my plan was definitely to surprise Becca. Becca's very, very intuitive and can figure things out really, really fast. So I knew I had to plan it around an event where she'd be distracted or focused on something else and wouldn't expect it like she'd hope for it but would wouldn't really expect it 
So um, the year that her team had won the world championships, they they do like a, a, a ring ceremony where they all get their world's rings. So I was like, great, I'm just going to take like 30 minutes of this, <laughs> this event and, you know, throw in a quick engagement. So I spoke to the coaches and I had some friends help me out with picking up the ring and they held on to it for me. Oh, um, smart. Yeah, so like it was nowhere in the house. Um, and it was at a venue that we had actually were considering as a wedding venue anyways. Um, so it was kind of great to have photos there. Yeah. And um, it was really funny. So I had to get her there. But then I had to have a reason why I wasn't with her the whole time. So I said to her, I was like, you know, I just started a new job. So I was like, I just have a quick meeting. I'm going to take it in the car. And then we, I had a set plan in mind and it didn't go that the right way. So I was like, okay, we're going to have to, you know, po- like push it a little bit in terms of time. But at that point, I'm getting, like, I'm hiding in the building and she's outside with all of her friends. And I can see through the window that she is like, she and I, <laughs> I'm getting all of these messages. She's just like, so hey, limited. where are you? You said it was going to be half an hour. Like, I, I, I don't know where you are. Your location says you're in the building, but who's in the building? Stop. She's calling just me. I am over there. not <laughs> answering. I, I, okay, when I've had like two glasses of wine, like, I'm more emotional, so I was mad. I was like, she's the only one I want to celebrate this with right now. You were now. just a little Where feisty. Is she? I was getting fiery, so I checked her location because I was like, did she leave for this Dying. meeting? <laughs> you know? And so I am I have my phone up, and I'm pointing to my phone, and I'm like, guys, she's in the building. And all my friends are like, she's not here. But Dee was in the building looking at the window, and she could see me holding up my phone, pointing, showing everyone her location. <laughs> Yeah, Holy so I'm like, I'm like creeping on her and one of our friends was standing there. She knew and then another friend figured it out. So they're like, it's fine. Just like, I'm sure it's something she just started a job. Like let her like she's going to come. It's not like she's going to hide in the building all night. So I'm like messaging another parent, that a friend of ours. I was like, I need you to get her upstairs. There was like a little balcony, but you had to go through the bathroom window to get to it. It was the only way out there. Yeah. So I got, got myself out there. They're like, yeah, let's go take photos on this balcony. Okay, let's go do that now. Like, okay, quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then that's when I went. That's when it all started to come together. Oh. She comes out, and what was really funny was neither of us could remember what I said or what our conversation yeah. was. I, don't have a single memory. I was like, did I kind of say like? Thank God for. Did I say like? Yeah. What did I say? I had no idea. And then we started to come. To, I started, it started to come back a little bit. Yeah. But yeah. So as I was, as Becca was coming up, we got got everybody from the back to the front and. Yeah, so they all got to see it. Just super fun. So I love it was magical. That. But you do black out. Like, that's like an actual yeah, I thing. I didn't know like, that. 100%. Yeah. I don't remember anything. Like, the, when I say I, like, rehearsed, like, I'm pretty sure I had typed it out on my work oh, computer. So and then cute. I got there and I was like, you're really cool. <laughs> <laughs> like, I have no yeah, idea. Okay. You you want it? Do you, do you want this? We both, like failed thank god we had two because the second one we like both remember yeah it was like you know but the first one we both fumbled so hard she i don't even know what she said but i <laughs> forgot in my head i was like that ring is so pretty and instead of letting her like take it out and put it on me i was like mm, picked it oh up. yeah 100%. immediately just like i don't even snatched. know if the box was fully open yet <laughs> and it was already on her I'll hand get from here thank you yeah <laughs> and then a few months later it was your turn. Yeah. Yeah. yeah just, just one thing to know. I had always said, I was like, I will propose first. Okay. Yeah. Because she's so creative and she knows me so well. Yeah. You can't outdo me. Yeah. <laughs> like I just, I need to set the bar and then you can go and run with it because you're going to crush it. So I didn't want to mess it up. So I was like, please don't do anything. Yeah. You're like, like, I, I have, have to, to do first. it first. Yeah. I have to. I think I yours that. could have been better though. I loved that all my people were there and it was like, I could party with them after. But Dee's more of a one-on-one type of person. Yep. She's, like, more private, and she really appreciates time when it's just us. And we both, like, love cottage country, and we've had some really good memories up in Muskoka. So I knew that I wanted to do it at a really, like, cute cabin. She also prefers, like, colder weather. She, like, likes fall. She likes winter. So we did it in October. I had messaged this really beautiful cabin on Instagram, and I told them about my idea to lie to her and tell her that a magazine for cottage life or cottage country wanted to have a lesbian couple modeling in one of their featured cottages. I don't even remember the exact lie, but she believed it. it. The cottage was like, this is amazing. We love this. She created 
a deck and said that the cottage had sent her a deck. This is the inspo. This I was like, like I, oh, I had no I, I reason made an why. Photo shoot brief. <laughs> oh, like I didn't. I had no reason why I shouldn't believe it. Typed out an entire email, sent it to them, and said, "I need you to send this back to me to make it look like you've reached out to me." Which wow. I mean, I've never. I wouldn't even look through it more than once. Like it's more so like. FYI, this was what's happening. Yeah. But like the details <laughs> were wow. out of this world. So That's I had amazing. to say that. That I was, it wasn't just like, we're going to go. Like it was, here's your email. These are the dates. These, you know, we need you here by this time. This is the inspo. This is the colors. Yes. Wild. I love that. Wild. The dedication. No, yeah. And then I had reached out to a photographer that wanted to work with us prior. And he was super excited, super down to shoot it. So we basically did like a fake photo shoot and then when we were in front of the background that I knew would be prettiest for photos, I like proposed to her Aww. instead of posing for the photo. Um, and you were genuinely surprised, I think. Oh my God, I had no idea. You had no idea, eh? I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, what are you doing right this now? This wasn't in the brief. This, was, this, this is not the part brief. of the brief. <laughs> also, like what? I was so yeah. thrown off. Oh. Yeah. Um, yeah. It was so fun. I and want to was... do it again. <laughs> uh, okay, so you're both TMB brides. Woo! Um, and while I would absolutely love, 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 love to talk about your outfits, I know we won't. I showed you my second one. It's so good. Oh, I'm, so I'm very, I sh- very, okay, very so excited I, for I you. showed Becca all of the ones that I didn't pick. Oh, good call. I have an guys- album called Not My Wedding Dress. <laughs> I love it. Do you guys do the thing? Because I remember like while I was playing my wedding, I'd be like, so what do you think I'm going to wear? Oh, all the time. Yeah. All the time I do that. Yeah, I can't. I, I'll be like, I feel like you could wear this, but also you could rock this. Like, she's, Anything Becca wears, like she rocks, she it. rocks it. Absolutely. I could not do that. Yeah. I'm very simple. That's not true. Oh, no. I just feel like she'll be like, see, I'm going to put this with this. I'm like, really? And then she put it on, like, okay, yeah, I could never wear that. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, it's hard for me to pick what she's going to wear because she literally looks good in everything. Yeah. All I know is that it's a shade of white, I think. See, I don't I think. Imagine it's not. Oh, we're going to imagine? Yeah, that's what I that is, I see, I said I think, so I was like, was knowing easy. back, yeah. we don't know. I'm in but my, like, black clothing era. You, We yeah. both are. <laughs> I love this era for I know. all of us. <laughs> yeah. So do you feel like, like, Becca, do you feel like you know what D is no, where? Or? I have literally no idea. We actually tried on one of the same dresses. Oh, you did? We did, and yeah. It, and I oh. was shocked she tried it on. Neither of us liked it on ourselves, really. I think okay. it was more, it suited me a little bit better. Yeah, it wasn't my, my it style. It just wasn't okay. my personality, but I was, like, shocked you tried it on. And because you tried that on, I was like, I have no now idea. Now it's, like, wild card. Now yeah. I've really thrown yeah, 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 I love it. And she showed me her second choice. And I, I literally cried. I loved it on her. I was and like, I, now what do I do? What do I do? <laughs> she, she panic mode. Yeah, she went into full panic because I accidentally said that would have looked amazing with my dress. Oh my gosh. I was I like, sure what shoot. you picked also did. It does. It does. Yeah, yeah for I believe sure. That was the first thing I said. I was like, I need you to steer me in the right direction. Yeah. And if this is not it. Away, yeah. Like we were able to. Like, they complement each other so much. And from what I know of both of you guys, like, your outfits are very much representative of you. Like, they're very Perfect. You. I'm yeah. so excited. I'm I'm most excited to see what Dee's wearing. Like, I don't care about anything else that day, really. We're actually very, I'm, like, anxious to see what you're wearing. Despite being a Leo and an Aries, we've been very chill about the whole thing. Okay. For the most part, yeah. All right. Wait it's, till yeah. it becomes 2024. Okay. And then we're <laughs> I just like I don't I can't imagine anything like ruining my day really I'm like yeah I like the inspo we've shared with our vendors and I like the things we've picked but if it's not exact I just I don't think I'll care that much yeah because at the end of the day like and things aren't gonna go well right like it's gonna be something that and like you're getting married in June like you can't be like oh I really hope it's gonna be a sunny beautiful day like you have no idea it could be like 35 it could be like 12 it could be like whatever but what other like details like you said that you shared like inspo with vendors and stuff like what details can you guys share with us we will (gasps) we will have a lot of florals yeah florals are my favorite part yeah really yeah we have like structures that are being built we're very excited about and who's your florist 
if you called, if you're allowed yeah, to yeah, share. Yeah. yeah, it's called Posh Beyond. Okay, cool. Um, so she's out of like the Innisfil area, which is where our venue is. Our venue is Three Feathers Terrace, and I'm very excited about it. And that's a new venue, correct? Yeah, it was built last, like it was finished, built last October. Yeah. So we actually booked it without seeing the finished product. It was just like a skeleton and like a video rendering. Wow. Good for you guys. Yeah. 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 Well, okay. The reason we picked that venue was not because of the venue, although it's beautiful. It's going to be great. It was the people that own it. Yeah. Like we're so nice. They're so warm. And in my head, the people around us on the day is more important than the place 100%. or the things. Yep. Um, and they just made us feel really comfortable. So I was like, I don't, I don't need to see it. I just want them to help be there that day. Yeah. Um, just the way that the chairs are going to be set up. The chairs are going to be set up like a fashion show. I <laughs> love this. I yeah. Love I was that. like, I don't know if you want to like say it, it, but like, I, I wasn't I, sure what I feel about it. But oh, now I I'm like, it. I'm. I get to walk up and then back down. Yeah. yeah. I am a fashion show. Yeah. yeah. You are the fashion show. He's, yeah. And yeah, I feel like people will be able to see better. Like, yeah, I know we've been to weddings where, yeah. like, you get the back corner and you're, like, th- like you know, like, yeah. looking between heads the whole time or you can't really see anything. And at least yeah. everyone gets, like, a full view of us and our bridal party walking through and coming back. Oh, my gosh. I love that. Who came up with that? Or did you guys, like... Oh, absolutely not me. <laughs> I did. <No. laughs> oh my gosh. Um, we do have on our wedding website a l- light ask that no one wears bold or bright colors. Oh yeah, <laughs> I feel like that's so, fair. Okay, I think it's fair too. But we've had so many people not be angry or mean, but like make fun of us for it. But oh, I'm yeah. like, listen, the photos are going to be amazing without your neon green or red. Yeah, we yeah. appreciate that. Yeah. Not the time. Not I also the think time or place. Like our generation like gets that and they understand like the aesthetic of photos. Like I had my aunt call like, are you kidding me? And she I'm was like, like, I know that was Becca. Because I, I know like, that yeah. was Becca. I was like, then yeah. call her. <laughs> and all of a sudden I hear, yeah. Thank you. I hear yeah. Beck on the phone. She's dying laughing. She's like, I'm coming with my bright red. I was like, <laughs> girl, do it. Oh See my gosh. No. Okay. So my brother did that, but he actually put it as like a separate card in their invite. Oh. So like, yeah, so it wasn't like just a nice kind thing on the website. It was just like a full on like yeah. insert into the thing. And it like gave them like, these were like the colors you could wear. And wow. they like, yeah. And I was like, wow. Okay. I mean, I and I was like, that's aggressive, that. but she was, it worked I lo- out. I love that yeah. for them. Everybody, I not bet. one person didn't oblige by it. Right. So, yeah. Nice. Yeah. That's nice. There you go. <laughs> Except for your aunt. Maybe she's going to just She's, just she's my favorite person she, in the yeah, family. Yeah. She's she like the she best. Yeah. So I'm like, you know what, girl? You can have, this can be your you day too. You can have your neon. Yeah. You yeah. can have your neon moment. <laughs> she's like, show is yours. She, it's not like she wear the, wears those colors, but she just wants to give us a hard time about yeah. it. I love it. That's so good. So there's something I've been thinking about. And I was thinking about it this weekend when I was like preparing for this podcast that I was like, you guys have built like such an amazing following of people do you feel with this wedding coming up that there's like some unwritten like pressures or stuff that you guys have yeah a little bit yeah I feel that a lot actually I think because more people come up to me and ask me questions about it because they they know they're like Dee's just gonna be happy with what Becca picks literally (laughs) like Planning is not your thing. Planning is not my thing. She also loves it. Like, she really enjoys doing, like, yeah. like inspo decks and things like that. Whereas, I'm like, you're great at this. So I trust yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> like, if you had a strong opinion about it, I would absolutely, yeah. like, just divide and you pick these things and I pick these things. But yeah. Do you like if I just, like, come up with two options and then... Yeah. And sometimes those favorite. options are very similar and I'm like, uh, what's the right yeah. one? Yeah. <laughs> Cause sometimes it's like, it doesn't matter so much to me. Like yeah. some of the floral choices, I was like, flowers are pretty. So, yeah. you know, obviously For I sure. don't want like, like we said, like vibrant colors. We're all, we're very much on the same page where yeah. she, it was really funny when we had that conversation, they're all talking different, like flower designs. And I was like, okay, yeah, that sounds pretty. I don't know what it looks like, but sure. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) It helps that we have the same taste in a lot of people. Yeah, very much so. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, I've had a lot of people come up to me and be like, oh my God, I can't wait for the photos from your wedding. I can't wait to see what you wear. I can't wait to see what the setup looks like. It's going to be amazing. Like everyone's like really pumped my tires and I'm like, okay, 
yes, I'll do my very best, but I'm also not a billionaire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, for sure. You know, it's like a little bit, it is a little bit of pressure and not that it'll matter to me if anyone's disappointed, but it is a lot. Like a lot of people have made comments yeah. about it. Yeah. Like, I, f- I feel some pressure, like I'll say that, but at the same time, I'm like, I'm not doing this for you. So yeah. I'm also like, if I'm happy, everyone's going to have their own opinions anyways. Like it doesn't really matter. He's much better at not caring about what people think than yeah. I am. It's it's hard though. It's like even like your guests. Like I remember when I was playing mine. Like it was like I just want to make sure that people are like having a good time. Yeah. And I'm like, well, like, are you gonna have a good time at all? Like it's like yeah. you have to like <laughs> yeah. you have to do it for yourself, but like also for your guests, I guess. But like I could only imagine having like a whole social media following, like yeah. waiting for that day of yeah. your wedding, like knowing that they're like, oh, like have you seen any updates or like whatever about the wedding, which is wild. But well, like even today, like Vanessa Hudgens wedding just yes. happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've already been like refreshing like all the bridal sites and Instagram pages. Cause I want to see so badly. Yeah. And like, just cause I'm also in my wedding planning era. I'm like, wow, she must've felt, and I'm sure this happens to every celebrity, but she must've felt so much pressure. Cause here I am just waiting to see all her photos, yeah. you know? Yeah. It's no, a lot. It's- it's pretty crazy, but I know whatever you guys do is going to be absolutely beautiful and you're going to look so good. Thank you. So good. Um, so what has been the most shocking part of the wedding planning process? I definitely think cost is shocking to everyone involved. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Budget will balance itself. Especially yeah. because we've got other friends around us who've shared some of their spend as well. And I'm like, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> but... Something that's been shocking to me in a really good way is how warm and inclusive a lot of the vendors we've approached have been. Amazing. Um, at the very beginning when I was emailing with some vendors and some venues, I definitely felt a couple of them either A, just assumed that I had a male partner or B, kind of like shut down the idea of working with us. Not deliberately and not in like a mean sense, but you know when you just get a vibe yeah, that absolutely. maybe it just didn't align with them, whatever it was. Yeah. Um, but for the most part, like people have been so warm and yeah. so accepting and so nice. And I don't know, just until like I think recently, the bridal industry was like very traditional. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. um, for sure. Absolutely. And I just I feel like we're lucky to be engaged when we are because it's been like really progressive. And, like, a really good experience for us. Yeah. Good. I mean, this might sound wild, but I don't know why I thought it was just going to be really simple to plan a wedding. I don't know why. Yeah, I know. I knew you were going to give me that look. (laughs) But, like, I was like, flowers are flowers. Chairs are chairs. Table settings. You know what I mean? Like, like the way, like, I grew up, it was very simple. Very, very simple. And, like, then I actually, like, was part of planning a wedding and I was like, okay, there's a lot more to do. Oh, yeah. I don't know why. Because then you have people who are like, yeah, I plan my wedding in five months. Yeah. I don't so I'm know. like, oh, that must be simple. So easy. No problem. Get, you know, get some food, get some flowers and someone to ordain. Like, I, you know, I was just. Get I, some food, get some yeah, flowers. Yeah, literally. You know what I mean? What a like, quote. I, love I know. It. <laughs> it's wild. But I honestly, like, expected it to be so simple. Yeah. And it's not. No, so, it's, like, so layered. It's and it's so. La- yeah. The, there's so many things. And you can get hung up on so many details and I'm sure like as you guys continue to get closer and closer to the date you're just like oh we forgot about that you're just like okay like well what's another thousand dollars on that now like it'll be I know like it's worth it that's what we think I was like well no it's another couple thousand here honestly it's so true (laughs) and even planning like the simple aesthetic like Mm. even if you want it to look simple it's still not simple no it's still expensive (laughs) yeah oh for sure yeah there's a lot to it it's it's a crazy world but what are you most excited for I know you said you're like so excited to see what Dee's wearing but like is that is that the like I'm definitely most excited to see what Dee's wearing that is what I'm most excited for oh yeah that's like my okay I've got a few I'm most excited to see what Becca is wearing um I don't know how I'm gonna be able to hold it together watching her walk down the aisle like I don't know how I don't know how it's gonna go (laughs) that's just all I've got to say yeah um (laughs) I'm really excited to have Levi there, which is our <laughs> chihuahua. Okay, I love this for you. He's going to just be there for the cocktail hour portion, but like... He's our favorite thing in the whole world. Yeah. He is like my... 
I sound crazy, but he's my best friend. Yeah. <laughs> I don't of think he needs like, to be there. 100%. Wild. I just, oh my God. So yeah. that's like, and then the food. We did our food tasting oh. a couple weeks ago and, no, a couple months ago. And it was unbelievable. Oh, like, and that's absolutely true, is it wild. Venue, or is it a separate no, caterer? It's food dudes. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've uh, worked with them before. They're, they're amazing. Wow. Yeah. That's that's I was awesome. blown away. Blown away. And like, even on the things I didn't think I would really care that much about, like the starter salad. I've been thinking about this salad every day since. <laughs> yeah, like it. So when we went, we invited Beck's mom, my dad, and then our man and maid of honor. And my dad's a little bit of a tricky guy to please. He yeah. worked in the restaurant business for 25 plus years. And he's very opinionated. Very opinionated. Okay, yes. But love him very much. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, I was like nervous. I was like, listen, dad, I like this vendor. If you have anything negative to say, you keep that to yourself. And then... um, you know, he, he came with us and he thoroughly enjoyed Okay. like all of it. He, he actually told my aunt and my aunt told me that she, he was very, like very pleased with like our choices. I was like, phew, that was yeah. a stressor for me. But yeah. the food, oh, that yeah. salad, what yeah, is so starter good. Salad. The starter salad. So our maid of honor and our man of honor are bringing Tupperware for cocktail hour so that we can eat it like the next day because smart yeah we've we've booked a cottage it's like in cottage country ish so we booked a cottage for the entirety of the weekend but we get married on the friday so we want to enjoy some of the wedding food on the following day so tupperware will be there and we will be collecting like they are very committed to walking around being like are you finished with that if yes please Please put it in my Tupperware. <laughs> I love that. We should put like a ribbon on the Tupperware. Yes. Do, like, on oh brand. my God. Yes. Yeah. So we all love a bachelorette party, obviously. Best part. So are we having a bachelorette party? We yeah, we are. Are you guys doing a joint? No. Or, no. Originally. Okay. originally we were, for that. Yeah. So originally Separate. we said that we wanted to do it together. And as we started building out our lists, I was like, some of like my friends like wouldn't be it just we were just kind of like you know what if we were a straight couple we wouldn't do that i wouldn't just invite all of your friends to my back yeah so it felt a little strange we also are doing the complete opposite type of bachelorettes okay i love this tell me everything and also we like are never apart we never do anything apart yeah so it's just nice to like be our own people for like a week yeah Yeah, absolutely for sure so um mine actually is coming up in end of january i'm doing like ski snowboard slash um spa type of weekend at a cottage amazing Um, i actually just started snowboarding like two years ago so i'm not very good at all but i really really want to get better so i was like i wanted to like do that with my people um so we booked a little like um airbnb in quebec just outside just outside of ottawa there yeah yeah. a couple days we're doing you know ski snowboard snowboarding one day and then we're gonna do like you know outdoor hot tub spa type of wicked you know champagne that kind of thing and then a night at the cottage with games and then i might just extend it and do one more day of snowboarding with some of like my super super close people like my bridal party and then probably come home after that so very snowy, very. I'm I so love excited. It. That's my vibe. I, I am love that. so yeah. excited. Be I love. So oh, I love being. Oh, I just love it. I love it. I'm so excited. I'm going to the desert. <laughs> <laughs> like there the couldn't be opposite. <laughs> more opposite. Yeah. Um. I rented a really sick Airbnb in in between Palm Springs and Joshua Tree. It's called Morongo Valley. Um. And I'm taking a handful of my best friends there, and we're just gonna. Honestly, we just love the desert aesthetic, so we're going to, like, be by the pool. We're going to have drinks, games. Most of it will just probably stay there. Yeah. Um, maybe we'll do one night out, but, like, neither D or I are, like, the wild, up-all-night, clubby type people. So, like, those yeah. aren't the bachelorettes we're going for. We, like, love the house party vibe. Yeah. So that's what we're doing. And then um, after my friends leave the batch me and two of my other friends are just going to extend and stay in LA for a week. Those sound so good. And when are you doing that? March. March. Okay. That's perfect. So then you guys have time to recover, come yeah, home. Yeah, exactly. And get, yeah, that's awesome. Those are going to be amazing. And I look forward to following both of them and living vicariously through you guys on social media for it. I love it. So um, obviously we are recording right now with this first time recording at Apre Wee. Yay. So thank you guys for being here for the inaugural 
podcast in the lounge. Um, there's construction going on, of course. So you probably hear background noise as per usual here, but we'll figure it out. Um, but with the launch of TMV Apre We, um, we're also launching an awesome collection with um, Becca's clothing company that we talked about in her bio, All Good. Um, so can you give us a little like 411 on what All Good is? what the idea is behind it, what's the message, because um, this, our collection, collaboration with you is actually launching with this podcast. Yay. In two days. I'm so When excited. I edit it. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so I started All Good, which is just cute, casual wear, um, basically because when I came out, I wanted ways to kind of support the community and also wear things that showed that I was proud to be who I am. But I just found that most things that are marketed towards the queer community is very, very loud. Not that I'm not super proud of it, but it's not all that I am. And I don't like that a lot of people feel like it has to become your personality. And I just have minimalistic style. So I wanted to create apparel for other people in the community that felt really true to who I was and was minimalistic and was kind of like anyone can wear it it's not like in your face I mean it's definitely totally fine for allies to wear it but it's just something that shows like we support you and we love you no matter what awesome so we worked um with Becca for I feel like it was like a few months like trying to develop um two designs so we created a crew neck um and then we also created a a t-shirt um that shows our allyship with you but also it's on sale on our website and at apre we um and we're so excited to be in collaboration we believe like full heartedly in the message and are so excited to stand behind it and Thank support you. you with that so it's gonna be really cool um again it is gonna launch today while you're listening to the podcast you can just go online shopping and buy one of the really cute sweaters or uh, the t-shirts that we have and i'm sure it's the beginning of hopefully a much broader collection and collab. Um, So this was so fun. I loved getting to know you guys and we're going to have to have you back once more, I think before the wedding and then after the wedding to do everything. Yeah. I was like, I hope we come back after the wedding. A hundred (laughs) percent after the wedding. So much to share. Yes. How the food is. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) How Levi looked. Bring me a starter (laughs) salad next time. Starter salad Uh, all around. No, like also I know that, post-wedding depression is a real thing yeah and I've been thinking about it but also like Dee and I are gonna want to come up with reasons to come here <laughs> 100% here. doors are always open for you okay. too and yeah, all of our brides, like when, but... when I came for my like dress shopping I went home I was like how do I get back there yeah. like how do I go just just hang out like <laughs> it was so lovely to come and I, I enjoyed it so, so many much times. I, love it. I know I love it honestly you guys doors are always open for you too for sure we do have one question that we had written in so I would love your thoughts on it um, we were reading through them all this morning and I was like "Ooh, I feel like this is a good one for them so it's hi TMB I know you usually talk from the side of the bride but I need you to help me with a reality check One of my friends recently announced her bridal party and I wasn't included. I'm shattered and really thought I'd have the honor of standing up for her on her big day. Am I in the wrong to feel like she doesn't value our friendship the way I do? And would you address her? Okay, I have experience. You have, yeah, I have not, so I can't really speak from experience, but Becca Um, definitely can. Yeah, so one of my very best friends, and she is still like one of the most important people to me did not include me in her bridal party and she did have a very small one it was just like family and then her groom's family I think maybe one friend and I was like heartbroken I was shattered about it as well because yeah like if you love someone so much you kind of just like think and expect that it equals the same yeah um but I did end up having a conversation with her after the wedding and she honestly felt bad about it and I think she was kind of moved that I wanted to be a part of it I didn't approach it like I'm mad or how yeah. could you not include me I was just kind of like sad and was just honest and just told her that I love her so much and I'm really sorry if I hadn't been there enough for her or whatever it was um but she was just like honestly planning a wedding's really hard and picking things are really hard and 
sometimes maybe you're just the easier person because you're not going to create a problem. Yeah. And like maybe they respect you so much that they know you're not going to be that person, whereas other That's people might yeah. be the one that creates the problem. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. They're like, yeah, um, Becca would understand. Like, yeah. 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 But okay. also like, I just feel like no one should make an assumption or get frustrated with how someone plans their wedding because like you have no idea what other factors are involved and how much family plays a role in what happens because like often those are the people paying for it so like I don't know I just I think I really learned that you just never know who's actually the driving force behind the decisions and why they've happened and I would just always give the bride a break yeah honestly (laughs) and that person's now in my wedding party and she's very happy to be in it and yeah, like there's no hard feelings. Yeah, nothing like changed. And nothing yeah. changed. That's so funny. I swear to God, I had no idea that that was like a real life example yeah. that you had yeah, been through. Like, like when whoa, we were, I will not be yeah, answering yeah, this. Yeah, when, when we had like yeah. four or five of them in our inbox and I was like, oh, this one seems fun. Cause I like, think that's like a really real thing to be upset about, but it also just means like you're a really good friend yeah. and like they're lucky to have you and they're lucky that you're sad about not being in it also. Yeah. No, absolutely. So do you have anything to add? Do you, would you address the person? I mean, yeah, I, w- I would definitely address the person. Um, but at the same time, it's also like one less job you have to do. You can enjoy the wedding a little bit more. And the reason I say that is my sister um, went through something similar to like this. And she says that she enjoys weddings more not being in a wedding party than being in the wedding party yeah. because it feels like you have to run the show for the couple a little bit to alleviate and let them enjoy it so she said personally like of course it's an honor but it doesn't mean you're of a lesser value than anyone else um because at the end of the day like the people that are at the wedding and like celebrating you are the most people people in their lives so that's how i feel um so she that's that's like her own take was like yes i loved being a part of it and i would never you know say no but at the end of the day, she's like, the wedding was so much more fun when I was just a guest. Yeah. So. I love my bridal party, and they're the people I talk to the most and I see the most, but I'm, anyone that'll be at my wedding, I love everyone the same. Like, it's For sure, such yeah. A yeah. There's intimate. not like a hierarchy ranking. No, of, no like, I really don't. Yeah. 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 And yeah. like, even even like picking a maid of honor or a man of honor or whatever. Yeah, whatever like I like, choose yeah, to exactly. It. It's just, it's such a daunting task, and sometimes it doesn't go to the person that's been with you the longest or whatever it just goes to the person that can handle the job and also who's in a place in their life to handle the job yeah because you know? it is a job, a job. Yeah. no it really is. Yeah. <laughs> it is it really is i felt like apologizing to my maid of honor when i picked her <laughs> like i'm sorry but preemptively yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's so funny well this has been such a fun episode i hope you guys have the best holiday season and the countdown is on I know. almost your it's year I know. thank you so much thank, for having yeah, us thank you, thank you guys so much and we will talk to everybody i think before the new year stand by bye